Welcome to the George Mason University Library's Understanding Plagiarism tutorial. In this video, you will learn what plagiarism is and how to avoid it. Many think plagiarism is just copying someone's words. However, it's not just using their words, but also their ideas without giving them credit. Here are some examples of plagiarism. The common thread or idea running through all five statements is not recognizing or crediting the original creator. In order to avoid plagiarism, a citation is needed. A citation contains two parts. The in-text citation, which identifies what information in your paper or project is from another source, and the bibliographic or reference citation, which identifies where you found the information. There are a number of different citation styles. The subject or discipline you are writing in, or your instructor, dictates the style to use. But when should you cite? When you use the exact words of another person. When you summarize or paraphrase ideas, opinions, or conclusions from another person. Or when you use statistics and facts that some members of your intended audience might not know. Don't cite when you use your own ideas, opinions, conclusions, or prior knowledge, or when you use common knowledge, facts, and dates, but when in doubt, cite. Here are a few tips to avoid plagiarism. Take good notes on where you found specific ideas, opinions, and conclusions. Write down or include complete citation information for each item used. Use quotation marks when directly stating another person's words. And avoid patch writing or simply combining phrases drawn from several sources. Instead, write summaries and paraphrases in your own words and then cite from where they came. Plagiarism is a major offense when writing a paper or creating a project. This video explained what plagiarism is and a few tips to avoid it. For more information about plagiarism, check out Mason's Honor Code and Mason's Office for Academic Integrity. To learn more about the two most popular citation styles, check out the videos Citing APA Style and Citing MLA Style.